Thank you. Thank you. Are the slides? Yeah. Crisis creates change, and this is an opportunity. Life is all about possibilities. There's nothing in life that's impossible. I have overcome significant traumas in my life. The first was when I lost my mother, Sonia Mercedes Morales Popolo, on American Airlines Flight 11 on Tuesday, September 11, 2001. I was completely, totally devastated when my mom, my best friend, was killed so tragically on that most horrific day in human history. The important lesson to be learned from this overwhelmingly tragic event is that I put all my energies into healing and into writing my book, Sonia's Ring, 11 Ways to Heal Your Heart. Miracles do happen, and with love, anything is possible. I transformed that most negative and dark and miserable experience into something that offers others hope, inspiration, and the wisdom to know that you're not alone and that love lasts forever. Approximately 10 years later, after 9-11-01, on Friday, November 25th, 2011, I experienced another catastrophic event, and I was hit by a car. Our car ran over my left foot three times, crushing it, and causing me unbearable, relentless pain, which immobilized me for almost three years. The doctor said I would never walk again. I had another series of choices to make. For me, the only way to go was onward in a positive direction. So the path I chose was to succeed and heal. Therefore, with a laser sharp focus and incredible perseverance, supernatural strength, divine determination, and unwavering faith, I focused on my healing and I turned to my own 11 ways to heal your heart during the t my time of crisis. How can we be resilient? How can we overcome a 911 moment? We all have our own 911 moments. And what do I mean by a 911 moment? Well, have you ever had a really bad day, a time when you were totally devastated, knocked to your knees, breathless, speechless, simply numb? For some, it is the heart-wrenching loss of a loved one, a pet, a job, a lover or anything that causes your heart and mind to become so overwhelmed that you are unable to cope with basic daily activities. Whether through an unexpected tragedy, the piercing pangs of divorce or devastating financial loss, the pain and suffering hurt. And for you, it is a horrible personal 911 moment. Paris, France, had their 911 moment Friday, November 13th, 2015. Brussels, Belgium, experienced their 911 moment Tuesday, March 23rd, 2016. Boston, Massachusetts, experienced their 911 moment at the Boston Marathon Monday, April 15th, 2013. What is your 911 moment? Guess what, folks? Their 911 moments is your 911 moment because we all are interconnected and we all feel the ripples of their pain and suffering. And for those of you in the audience today who are actually physically present in the middle of the Boston Marathon bombing or Brussels bombing or even the Paris terrorist attacks, you can feel the devastation, right? For those of you who were not there do you know someone who was touched by these horrific acts of hate? Whether yes or no, whether we like it or not, we are all connected. These global events affect us all. We all must do our part to change the pathway of insanity to humanity. With the number of terrorist attacks growing and rising more swiftly than ever before, there seems to be more hate and more fear instead of love and kindness. Let us replace the hate with love. Let us replace the insanity with humanity. 
Again, my mother, Sonia Mercedes Morales Popolo, perished on Tuesday, September 11, 2001, on American Airlines Flight 11. She was, the first, she was on the first hijacked plane to hit the Twin Towers and was a mere two seats away from Mohammed Atta, the onboard leader of the terrorist attack. Her entire body was never found, but some remains were discovered. 11 months after the disaster, my mother's ring was recovered, completely intact, still on her left hand, almost a mist, 1.6 million tons of rubble at ground zero. It was a miracle. Miracles do happen. When your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. It is an opportunity for great joy. I would like to share an excerpt from Sonia's Ring, 11 Ways to Steal Your Heart. Dear reader, my new friend, I ask you, are you with me? Do you understand the profound message? This is my ring, a song from my soul. Sonia's Ring, 11 Ways to Heal Your Heart. In answer to my prayer from above, I share with you that God was reminding us that even in the worst possible tragedy, Though we experience indescribable chaos, pain, and suffering, there's always a witness, something that reminds us that something, call it God, spirit, divine intelligence, or call it nothing at all, is right there in the middle of the mess along with us, that we are not alone. And it will not only bring us through it all, but somehow, even miraculously bring good out of it. Sonia's ring was God's witness to my family, first to my mother herself, then to my father, brothers, and to me, that God is there with us. There's some real steps that can be taken to help heal your heart, and there are as follows, 11 ways to heal your heart. One, love. Two, faith. Three, hope. Four, perseverance. Five, compassion. Six, kindness. Seven, nourishment. Eight, meditation. Nine, forgiveness. Ten, gratitude. Eleven, wisdom. As Mother Teresa said in her Nobel Peace Prize speech, I too wonder whether when St. Francis of Assisi composed his peace prayer 500 years ago, did they have the same challenges and difficulties that we have today as the words seem to remain so relevant? St. Francis of Assisi's prayer is like this, the peace prayer. Lord, make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, may I bring love. Where there is wrong, may I bring spirit of forgiveness. Where there is discord, may I bring harmony. Where there is error, may I bring truth. Where there is doubt, may I bring faith. Where there is despair, may I bring hope. Where there is darkness, may I bring light. And where there is sadness, may I bring joy. As Hillary Clinton shared in her eulogy for my mother, this beautiful poem written by my mom on August 5th, 2001, just before she left us, I would like to share this poem called Life. Life is so precious, embrace it. Life could be better, do not think it. Life is now, enjoy it. Life is what happens while we're making other plans. Life is like a quick blow of a flame from a small match, live it. For life is long, and the time, oh, the time we spend here is so limited. Life is so good and so wonderful, thank you, God. And again, crisis creates change, and this is an opportunity a pathway to move forward. And I ask you to join me in this effort so we may let love replace hate, let hope replace fear or despair, and let humanity replace insanity. Thank you very much.